Hi, this is Foreclosure Defense and Legal Blogger Roy Oppenheim. I want to talk a little bit today about what could happen to short sales based on a law that may be expiring at midnight on December 31st, 2012. Specifically, as many of you may be aware, right now when you sell your primary residence, if in fact you have, uh, and you're underwater, and you have um, loan forgiveness that the bank has given you either in the sense of a, of a short sale or in a foreclosure and there is a, a deficiency and that deficiency would, for whatever reason has been waived by the bank ordinarily you would be 1099 for that income and, and you would be getting what's called loan forgiveness income you borrowed the money you didn't pay it back the IRS considers that income well when President Bush was leaving office in 2008 as he was closing the door one of the things he did is that he made sure that this loan forgiveness income for people in their primary residence would not be deemed income until December 31st, 2012. So now the real question is, what is going to happen in January? Will Congress between now and then extend this uh, loan forgiveness income so you don't pay income taxes on it? Or will the, the politics of, of today be that, that neither the Democrats or Republicans, Republicans can get together and actually uh, continue this exemption. If it's not continued, what will happen is, for example, if you had a $200,000 mortgage, you did a short sale for $100,000, and you now have $100,000 that you technically would owe the bank, and the bank says, now you don't have to pay it because you did the short sale, that $100,000 becomes income and will be lopped on over and above your family income. So if you made $50,000 for the year, guess what? You just made one fifty, dollars and you're going to pay taxes on $150,000. The risk of that unknown is going to have a real major effect on, on the real estate market, specifically I think there's going to be an acceleration of short sales between now and December 31st, so people will get their short sales done. And then I think at the beginning of the year, you're going to have this major lag because people are going to be uncertain about what's going to happen in the future. So if you're in Congress right now, I implore you to make sure that you get that extension renewed as soon as possible. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Good day.